church got started with a storefront in 1940, close to the downtown area. And then in 1970, we moved to this location, in Northeast Nashville, we've been here ever since. We were 10 minutes from downtown, 10 minutes from East Nashville, but also linked with North Nashville, East Nashville being part of the city that's up and coming and booming. And North Nashville is where we do some of our community work, feeding the homeless. We're trying to bridge both gaps and both of them, we feel are a great part of the growing part of this city. We work with the Hope Clinic, which works with young women who are pregnant, having no place to go, and we partner with them. The Bridge Ministry under the Jefferson Street Bridge. The Ladies Rescue Mission, we partner with that group as well and bring some of them to church weekly and also send out funds to help feed them as well. You know, I look at Jesus when he called a lot of the disciples. They were men in the secular world and he called them, I like to say, to partner with him to help change the world. The church can only do I believe so much and God blesses uh, certain businesses, I believe, with, with powers and, and resources to partner with the church, getting people on their feet and helping them find a way out versus the current state they're living in, especially young people. And there's only one way to do that and that's when the church and certain businesses work together to see the need for that and not just pass it by. The outreach here that's very successful is an every week men's prison ministry that's been tremendously successful. Life threw me a big curve. I spent about a decade on drugs. Uh, ended up one of the largest drug dealers in my area. I've been going out there now for uh, five years. When I start telling my testimony, people start listening. And we had one guy, 10 years homeless, 10 years on the street, didn't even have a pair of clothes to put on when he got out. All he had was the orange jumpsuit, you know, over and over to me. He said, if, if you guys hadn't have come to the jail, then I would still be on the street. And you give them, you give them hope. Of course, that sparked other people to want to be a part. We've now started a women's jail ministry, so now we go to the women's prison, me and my wife and some of the other ladies. It's Matthew 25, you know, it's Jesus said, I was in prison and you visited me. You know, I was hungry, you fed me. It's, it's amazing. Our goal here, whatever activity, mission, outreach, it's love God, then we're gonna love people, and we're gonna serve the world because the church is way beyond these four walls that people do every Sunday. More than just locally, we have a big heart for overseas missions as well. For instance, in Mexico, we were able to build a missionary, a brand new home over there for their four children. Previously, they had nothing. In Liberia, through a generous donation through our church, we were able to build a health center where their local people can come instead of suffering with some of these situations. They now have a place to come and get the proper medical attention they need. In honor of my dad, they named it after my father. And in Russia, we're seeing great results, especially reaching out to youth of Russia who are addicted to so many different situations. They're oppressed people. But through the funds that have come in, we've partnered with Russia to be able to help sponsor their youth camps and various events that are taking place there in Russia. You know, we had a block party and this last year, we wanted to evangelize our efforts for reaching out to our community. My sister said, hey, they're having a carnival up at the church. Lord said, get your clothes on and you go on up there. Not only do I got something for you, but I got something for your soul I want you to hear. And pastor got up on the, we not only give a car away and bicycles and all the stuff we give away, but he preached and, and give hope to the, to the neighborhood. They call it blessing number. Thank you, Jesus. I jumped up and said, thank you, Jesus, it's mine. When God gave it to me, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to run good. I knew it was going to look good. And he sent me here to get that car and to get a strong word so that I can keep on moving forward. I made my way here at the age of 14. My parents had split, and so I had a friend in high school invite me to church with him. And it was the first time that I ever seen young people worshiping God. And it was just a really exciting time for me. And, and I found my passion in that. I found my passion in teaching and working with kids. And I just continued that. And now today, my husband and I were youth pastors. For this year, we're trying to team up with Maplewood High School. One of our young people actually go to Maplewood, and it's right across the street from the church. So we're hoping um, that through that, we can do more things with the school and with the community and Metro. All of us are put here, and that when we get blessed, we are blessed to be a blessing and we're blessed to serve. That's our mission, love God, love people, serve the world. And so we, we try our best to, to show that love out in the community. When you need me, I'm gonna help you. When I need you, you help me. I think the community is finally realizing it's like, to me, FAC is one of the best kept secrets in town. The Bible talks about he who waters others gets watered himself. 
If I refresh others, I get refreshed myself. And you can never go wrong by using the talents, giftings, resources that God gives you to turn around and bless others. And then you turn around and get blessed way beyond anything you could ever imagine. Now that you've heard our story and how we've made an impact, not only in North Nashville, but literally around the world, we'd love to partner with you. Together, we can make a strategic difference in our community. Together, we can be the lightning rod of change to those that are hurting in our city. If you would like to know more, please reach out to us through the information on the screen. Thank you for your involvement.